Okay, well, thank you so much for this opportunity to show uh, our research where um, we are interested on uh, translating the genomic data into clinical practice. And we are focusing in BAB1, which is one of the deadliest tumor suppressor genes. And uh, that was found in uh, several cancer terms that are most common in, um, by the TCGA and then the Cancer Genome Atlas. And then it's one of the most uh, associated with poor survival in, in those patients. And that's uh, frequently mutated in several cancer types like cubia melanoma, mesothelioma, renal cell cancerinoma, and cholangiocarcinoma. And when mutated, it's leading to poor survival as we found in renal cell carcinoma, as well as uvia melanoma and cholangiocarcinoma that is leading to a poor survival when mutated because it's very aggressive and leading to higher metastasis in patients. And unfortunately, there are no specific treatments for those types of cancers. Um, so we developed an immunohistochemistry test that was working very nicely in renal cell carcinoma, but also in other tumor types that when then we can identify patients that are having loss of bad one and that's a highly sensitive and specific so we can identify them with more than 99% of sensitivity and specificity. And then we can use that for certifying the patients of different cancer types, including cholangiocarcinoma. And then we can, with that certification of the patients, we can then try to identify uh, vulnerabilities for the loss of BAU1. And for that, we use the synthetic lethality approach where if there is a BAU1 loss, we can inactivate a specific gene, but it's only going to be uh, deleterious when there is a uh, loss of BAU1. And then, so we did that approach using a synthetic lethality screen. And we were using a SHRNA library. So then after several passages, we were able to see in this cell line that is deficient in BAB1, but reconstituted also with Walter BAB1, that um, the essential genes are deleted. So they are not expressing those cells. And those are dead. And then we can focus on the ones those cells that are expressing SHRNA that is only in the context of BAB1, but not when there is BAB1 loss. So then by doing that, the bioinformatic approach, we identify a histone acetylase, and then we validated that using um, a cell and cholangiocarcinoma cell line, that it only in the context of BAB1 loss, there is a, a decrease in proliferation and also in colon information, there is this uh, decrease in uh, colon information that is specific when there is BAB1 loss, you know, where is Walter BAB1. We also uh, validated using these cholangiocarcinoma cell lines that were uh, implanted subcutaneously in mice. And then by the expression of Walter BAB1, there is a decrease in tumor formation. And that's also the case when there is the knockdown of this histone deacetylase indicating that there is a true synthetic lethal in vivo. And so then we did a proteomics analysis. Uh, we identified that uh, purin one was one of the most uh, prominent uh, proteins. And that was initially impossible because uh, this uh, TFK1 cell line from cholangiocarcinoma, those are mutant for BAB1, but also purin one So it was not possible to have uh, purin one when comparing these to the others. Uh, and that's because uh, there was an infiltration of uh, mouse uh, lymphocytes. And then also there was an overrepresentation of uh, genes that are in this pathway for the uh, lymphocyte infiltration. So that could explain in vivo why there is uh, this uh, tumor shrinkage. And we are exploring that. And we are also using patient-derived organoids as preclinical model for entering clinical trials. Uh, we also have other targets uh, that are under patent application that we are going to file uh, next month. And then I cannot uh, disclose now. Um, and, but uh, there is this project that I'm coordinating with other partner sites in Germany where we are evaluating uh, a hypothesis and those uh, for targeting Bawamitan cancers, including cholangiocarcinoma. And then we are sharing the regions and also data. So then at the end, we can identify at 
uh, in vitro, in vivo, and organoids, as well with uh, clinical samples from immunohistochemistry you know, and also with uh, machine learning. Uh, so we can uh, identify biomarkers and also with the help of collaborators um, for clinical samples, we can um, uh, then validate the use of these drugs for treating bad one mutant cancers. Uh, so then we are open for collaborations for obtaining uh, uh, tissues of, uh, um, of those cholangiocarcinoma uh, samples from immunohistochemistry you know, uh, from different hospitals. Also, I'd like to thank uh, uh, the collaborators as well as the funding agencies, especially Marie Curie, that uh, I was awarded uh, five years ago, a Marie Curie Individual Fellowship. And then uh, until uh, three years ago, I was uh, enjoying that, that fellowship. So I have plenty of experience writing those kind of uh, uh, fellowships and grants. So, uh, and also we are happy to have a, a postdoc and we are open for jobs on a postdoc and I'm happy to take questions.